Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. This video is going to be the new final boss, Tarmiel. This final boss is probably the most irritating because it requires a lot of RNG, but it's actually decently easy. And what I mean by that, I mean that if you have the right team, you can pretty easily do it. It is some RNG on the Father Sorry, you may have to crit once on the final phase. Uh, you need you need Barn in the back. You actually don't go Death Pierce. People say Death Pierce don't. It's, the, the, the difference between having Death Pierce and having Barn is so insane. It's unbelievable. 170k, 80k. We have Death Pierce, it's 80k. You have, you have Barn, 170k. Stupid. I do also recommend Green Gotha for the increased stats and the upgrade. And Kizuna is always very good because uh, she gives you the attack related stats when she gets a when her cards upgrade or when they merge or stuff like that. She's also a very good character overall. Probably wondering why I just uh, cut the video there a little bit. Just so that means if I have to keep doing a million retries, I don't have to keep doing the intro like a million times because that's what gets slightly irritating. Doing the intro a million times is slight, just very slightly irritating. But yeah, if, you, if I put an extra Sariel card, you want an extra Sariel card, this isn't the worst. Um. Upgrade Sariel. Obviously, I do have Gotha's relics, so I do get the. I have Gotha and Sariel's relics, so also, I do get their buffs as well. So, Gotha's is 1% per upgrade I use, and Sariel's is every time he gets hit when he has a counter up, he does uh, more damage. Which we might be able to see here. Look, uh, there, there's the buff there already. My Sariel's HP defense. I did try this with attack crit down, but he just takes way too much damage. Obviously, Kizuna's got a uh, sorry, uh, Red Tarmia link as well. That's what you want. That's what you want to see. You want to see those crits. Um, so I do want to get rid of cards. So I'm just going to do this. So if you're really wondering why am I attacking? You're not, you know, you're not meant to attack. You can attack as long as you know that you can guarantee a kill. For example, that Kizuna does actually quite a bit of damage. So I'm not really that fussed. You don't use an ultimate. Uh, sorry, I'll count on there. We go. So we're going to buff up. Uh, sorry, I'll counter, and then we're gonna merge. The only reason I'm merging is because I want more hand space for more sorry counters. That's really what you want to go for. And you, you can't attack on this phase at all because the enemies have negative HP. Oh, see, if, uh, if you kill this guy, you get stats for yourself. As you can see there, all my stats got increased. If you kill this guy, you get stats for sorry. Like so. And I really, I really like this dude. This dude told me his attacks are really cool. Obviously, if you do hit a crit, uh, you need one crit to kill, even on a level one card. If you have a golden thingy cut thing, obviously I've got two crits there to make it super easy. Of course, when I'm making a video, I get like flawless runs. I wish I had this when I was not recording. Anyway, that's how to like two turn. <laughs> super easy boss, 4.4k points. That will get you in like the top like 20, 30 percent. You only really need to be in the top 50 percent for the reward anyway. Anyway, thank you for watching this video, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye bye, guys.